Welcome to Task and Purpose. I'm Patrick. And I'm Chris Cappy. Hey guys, we are upstate today with Matt Mallory of PS and Ed, a senior TC instructor with USCCA. In the military, when you qualify in the pistol, it's kind of like an assembly line. They just give you 15 rounds and they're like, all right, you're an expert now. So today we're actually getting one-on-one -on -one instruction from an expert. The first step before firing rounds down range was to go over the basics. We were uh, using T1 ammo and it's nine millimeter uh, ball ammo, right, target ammunition. We've got a Walther PP QM2. So what we're gonna be using here. I like the, the Walther the best because of the grip and as well as the trigger out of the box, it's it's one of the best along with like H&K, the VP9, those are both really good. And I've shot Glock for ages with military law enforcement. That's a, that's a key point to be looking at is when you're reholstering, look it back into the holster because if you're reholstering, why are you reholstering? That threat stopped, right? Mm -hmm. So what's your biggest threat? Shooting yourself. Don't shoot yourself. That sucks. I think that's lesson number one. If I were to take anything away from today, I think it would be don't shoot yourself. Yeah, that's where I'm at in my confidence <laughs> level, to be frank. Hey everyone, before we continue, we need to pause and thank our sponsor for today's episode, USCCA. They made all of this possible and connected us with Matt and his range to get this training done. USCCA is a nationwide membership program with the sole purpose to serve gun owners who responsibly protect. They allow their members to arm themselves with training, education, and legal protection. Becoming a member provides you with the tools necessary for a lifelong education training system to keep you proficient with your weapon and confident in your knowledge of the law. Go to their website right now, plug your zip code into the training portal, and sign up for a class today. I promise that's all it's gonna take for you to see the immediate value of a USCCA membership. And for as little as $22 a month, you can safeguard your future, your home, and everything that matters most. Once we got the verbal briefing out of the way, it was time to move on to some hands-on training. So Tom Gibbons data, Tom Gibbons from Range Master, his data says uh, 9 to 15 feet are most encounters that you're going to have. So 9 to 15 feet is where we should be practicing the major majority of our time. And that's 86.2% of encounters are going to be 9 to 15 feet. You know, I have so many students that will tell me like, well, how'd I, shoot? how'd I hit? Where'd I hit it? And I'm like, I'm not looking at that. The problem's not there. The problem's here. That's after the fact. Right? So, you know, watching the individual shoot and see the stance grip, breath control, trigger control, all that stuff. This is a huge misconception that everybody in the military is armed with a pistol. In my platoon, only the medic and the lieutenant had it. I didn't rate one. So, I definitely need some instruction. We're gonna go through some basics of grip, stance, breath control, trigger control, natural point of, of aim, and all that stuff. Great. All right, let's start. Let's do this. So on target, and then typical in the industry is a low ready. But low ready, you're going to be, you're going to get tired. You're going to get fatigued over time. So high compressed ready keeps it here, and you feel a lot less stress on your arms. So you could shoot from here and still hit whatever's straight in front of you. So you could even, you could be firing from this position. Yeah, unsighted fire. You can shoot straight from there. I mean, if I'm nine feet from How you, how are you sighting when you're, you're, you're firing from here? You're, you're just hold, you're, kind of you're holding it, you're holding it straight on your chest, right? Okay. okay? So if you have it straight on. Okay, now I, now I want you to slowly press the trigger. Oh yeah, not that. Right? We don't have sights on golf clubs, we don't have sights on baseball bats, right? This is a good base stance to be in because now you have this in your, in your uh, toolbox to be able to revert to if something happens and you have a good stable base to fight back against somebody if they're trying to attack you. Everyone has certain ways that they like to learn. I can't just sit in a, you know, in a bleacher in the heat and get a course of instruction, a briefing for 10 minutes and then know how to shoot. You actually need somebody standing there right with you. Let's see if we can push those arms out, lock those straight out into a, into a triangle. There you go. Nice, slow. Nice, very good. Something that I noticed was I would do a shot group really good right after getting some instruction and then two shot groups later, I would mess up again. So it, we talked about muscle memory and he, I think, called it neural pathways. You want to build those neural pathways up in your brain, your motor cortex, slow and steady until it just becomes seamless. Very quickly, instead of like ripping me apart, which is usually what happens, um, he was able to improve my hand positioning, my grip, um, help me understand the better ways to handle the weapon so that the round actually connects where I want. Nice and slow, go ahead and grip. Biomechanical stop, orient towards the target, extend touch, and then now I want you to slowly press the trigger, center of that, center of that pad, that front pad, okay, and then right, line it up, and press the trigger. 
It was actually like really insightful and more interesting than I thought it would be. This course broke more than one barrier for me. It not only improved my shock group dramatically, but it made me realize that maybe some army vets are actually just as good as Marines when it comes to shooting. Go ahead and shoot one and then hold it back. Pin it back, don't, don't go forward, go. Hold it. Now slowly go forward and listen and feel for the click. Hear it? Yeah. That's the reset. At that point, you can shoot again. Shoot again, pull. See it? If you go forward past that click, all the way forward and even further, take your finger off the trigger. Every time you come back, you're slapping, jerking, right? Doing yep. something to the trigger you don't need to do. If you can keep your finger on there, you can get a lot more shots off quicker and more accurately. We also did some cognitive reaction time practice, which is a great way to see how I would react under pressure. You're gonna to have to obviously acquire the situation, cognitively think about it, and then engage that target with, with two to five okay. shots. Okay? Three. I don't know if you know this, I served six years in the United States Marine Corps, uh, which every Marine is a rifleman. Every Marine is Delta CAG, regardless of MOS. So I had the confidence of a bull. I mean, I have no confidence. Yeah, that's where I'm at in my confidence level, to be frank. As a Marine, I thought I'd come in and just crush it, and I did. I had the help and guidance of an instructor who, who brought me there, but it was my own tools that did it. I've barely been out of the house for the past few months for obvious reasons, and getting to go back out there with like-minded people and learn about the basics of firearm safety, it honestly felt great. Essentially, Chris and I realized that while we served in the military and we think that we're pretty good with rifles, I'm confident with one, when it comes to pistols, we really just missed the mark just because there was no training for us. It's not actual in-depth training like we got today. Exactly. And all it really took for both of us was about 10 to 15 minutes of instruction to take our shot group from a pepper spray to much more honed in and looking professional. Maybe not John Wick level. Not yet. But close. Somewhere between John Wick and the John McLean? For, oh, for sure. Yeah, on the John level. Yeah. On the John spectrum. We're, we're at a John McLean level right now, and we're trying to get to John Wick. And with a few more courses through USCCA, which is available to every USCCA member, it's a very affordable program online, and what it does is it affords amazing resources, training, and support to any legal gun owner, especially those who want to do conceal and carry. I think we'll get it.